Okay, well, great. So um, I'd love to get on to a couple of uh, questions that my subscribers sent in, if that's okay. Okay, let's go. Um, I had quite a few questions, so I've kind of condensed them down, or if they were like duplicates, I've just um, put them in. Um, To start off, I had, there were several comments that weren't really questions. They were basically just saying that Reggie B is hot. That's kind of what they said. (laughs) <laughs> ah okay well thank you guys so people I'm single like, again. I'm si- that was the question people I'm like single. is reggie single <laughs> i am single since a couple of weeks yes well sorry to hear that but good for the subscribers i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah right before valentine's day i broke up oh well sorry to hear that but i mean are your dms open i mean <laughs> My DM is open and, and my PayPal as well. <laughs> okay, so, well, that was that was one question, not really a question, but, you know. Um, so the one question I had was, um, which of the other queens were you closest to in the competition? I guess you kind of already said that, but... Yeah, Tabita, definitely. Um, and Juicy as well, Tabita and Juicy. Okay, so the two of them. That's cool that you had like two sisters that you knew well and everything. Yeah. Um, so this question, I'm sure you've maybe been asked a lot of times. What were your thoughts on the Vivaldi situation and the illegal phone? Uh... Well, I love Vivaldi and I love working with Vivaldi. And um, if I was on that episode with her and she didn't got eliminated without doing the lip sync I would have been really mad I would have been really mad I think I think personally if some, if a queen does something like that or has a phone um or d- does something against the rules just like Willem just get off also I was like it's just a phone what are you gonna do with it you know, I was like, you know, what, what, what did you got to do? She told me later, like a couple of weeks ago, it's like, I only use it for porn. I was like, well, understandable. Under, that's what I would have done with my phone. I will be on Twitter all the time. Um, but yeah, I do think, I do think you have to follow the rules, you know, and also the, it's the same with like being nice to the crew. And, you know, if you're not nice, they, you know, they have to like tell you like, okay, girl, sit your ass down. You're not Bianca Del Rio or Bob the Drag Queen yet. So, um, so yeah, I, 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 there, if I was there, I would have said, no, you have to go home. And I would be really upset if, if it didn't happen. But nowadays I'm like, yeah, well, whatever it happened. Yeah, there's a difference between like a friendship and then in the competition, you have to follow the rules and you have to kind of, you're almost oh, like- Oh yeah, definitely. If Tabita, yeah. if Tabita had a phone and she's like one of my besties, if Tabita had a phone, I would also be like, sorry girl, I love you, but get the fuck off my, off my runway. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fair enough. If, you've, if, you, if there are rules, you have to follow the rules, right? Yeah, definitely. But that's funny that she was using it for porn. I mean- <laughs> That's so funny. Well, that's what she that's what she told. And also because it, it, at some point it broke, it, the, she dropped the phone and it broke the screen or something. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but whatever. It happened. It happened. It happened. Yeah. I mean, it happens, right? Um, yeah. So someone asked, um, looking back at your run on season two, what would you have changed? The hair in episode one uh and and yeah it sounds it's gonna sound very cheesy but i i wanted i want to enjoy it more because i was in my head because i was in the bottom for two episodes straight you know so i was in my head all the time and i would have wanted to enjoy it more because i am i was during during filming i didn't realize i was on drag race it just happened after when i got home that i just did fucking drag race um, but I would have wanted that during filming, you know? Yeah. You enjoy the moment a bit, live in the moment, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's difficult. Yeah. That's difficult when you don't, it's your first time doing something like that, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, so, and another question was, what was your favorite look that you presented on the show or perhaps a, a look that you didn't get to show that you wanted to show? My my Beauty and the Beast look, mm. the, um, the one, let me get it, let me get it. 
the one where I from the Monster Ball. That was like one of my the one I was really excited about. Yeah, because it's so it goes so beyond my um, this one. Yes, that one was amazing. I I saw it on your Instagram. I was like, that one was amazing. Yeah. Oh wow. It had a, it had a, it had a tail. It had the horns. It had the mouth thing. And oh, I always also was gonna have the rose, and you know, just pull the rose, put the rose in my mouth. I was gonna make a whole axe out of it. Um, and funny fact, Patty Pempe made that outfit. Oh wow! And she was on on uh, season one, right? Yeah. Also left episode two. So yes. I, when I got a, when I got home, I was like, "It's the curse of the episode two sisters. I'm not letting you make any more outfits for me." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, that I loved. That was like I saw that on Instagram. I was like, "That's a stunning outfit. Like that would have been so cool on the runway." So shame you didn't get to use it. But do, have you used it since? Like, are you going to use it for a gig? I, I'm going to sell it. Oh, okay. Because when am I gonna wear a half beauty and half beast look? When? Not even not even during Halloween because the hoop skirt is huge. Yeah. Okay. Well, I suppose maybe you can get some good coin for it then. I hope. <laughs> I hope so because it was expensive. <laughs> and do you sew your clothes yourself, like make it, or do you you get a designer to make it? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, the thing is like, I can like sew something that, that like uh, ripped or something or whatever. I can do that. Obviously. Do I want to do it? No, <laughs> that's a different kind of question. And also like now when I have the time to like sit down and chill, I have like the creative mind to like say, okay, this, 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 and I'd rather give it to a professional than buy a lot of material and waste most of it. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. I can totally understand that. Yeah. Um, so one person asks um, a question, a shady question. Who was oh. the shadiest queen on set? But like shady towards other people? Yeah, I guess. Ooh, a Fivaldi. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. Fivaldi, no, the Countess. The Countess. Yeah. The Countess, the Countess is the one who could make like an, like an, an, an uh, who, could, her, who like says something like, I don't know, was somebody, oh, I remember somebody didn't clean their lace well. And she was like, oh my God, I love that wig with that hairband. <laughs> and she just stood there like straight face. I was like, you shady motherfucker. Yeah. You shady motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, she always seemed like she could definitely throw some very, like, subtle but good shade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely.